Welcome back to the rabbit's chair and it's sunny and lovely. So last week we um, we celebrated the equinox. Uh, I had a look back at some of the work that we'd been work we'd done over the years at the gatherings and managed to get on with clearing the old stage and sorting out the chairs. So this week we're going to do some more work on the chairs. So we're going to get ready for concreting them and at least start making them stable. We're also going to have a look at the garden because that's ready for planting and a, little, a look at how we manage to keep the animals away from the garden because that's one of our major problems. We always end up with at least, at the very least, the very inquisitive goats that always try and get into the garden. So we'll show you how we keep them out or at least try. Um, so yeah, let's go. Let's have a look. Here they are. These are the goats. Always where they shouldn't be. So at the moment, within the alpaca pen, and lately they've taken to sleeping in there, slightly above them, sat on the hay, generally just kind of occupying their space. in their cud. So they're bags of character these goats and they're always where they shouldn't be. So we've used them over time um, in some films. So this is a short film that we did utilizing the cheeky nature of the goats to come and eat with me. Um, yeah, it's part of the film that we were producing at one time. So that's what the goats get up to. Um, let's have a look at these chairs. So I've been up to the studio to get a roller scrim. Uh, it's just sort of like a heavy jute scrim that I use. I'm going to be using that for working with uh, concrete on the chairs. So we're going to do the bases, the backs. We'll see how much we can get done over the next few days. But just going up to the studio and um, collecting the scrim makes me realise how little time I've spent in there recently just because of the nature of the work that I do and that I can't um, I can't work with the usual people that I work with so hopefully soon I'll be able to get on with that but it's quite nice to develop some new work as well using the whole sort of processes that I usually work with but I'll put some links up to the type of work I do the type of work Sally does up there and um, yeah, so let's see what happens with these chairs. So we're going to start with the repair work on the chairs and actually just sort of the building of the new sculptures with this one because it's already got a sculpture integrated into it. So this is a really old piece of my work and you can see the scrim poking through it. It's actually made in plaster so it's not really designed for sitting outdoors but we quite like sort of letting the old work um, dissolve really so we're going to we're going to slow it down a bit we're cutting some scrim which is this stuff here so we're just going to cut some of this scrim up and um, and then we're going to start covering it with concrete and if you kind of if you know anything about my work um i kind of experiment with the materials so my mixes of concrete are going to be quite varied today um so it's not like a tutorial on how to work with concrete but I'm going to start with a very kind of cement based mix just to get the scrim over the top and then we'll see how we go on and start building a bit more and well we'll just see what happens. So this is our main focus today to bring this one into some sort of life as a seated sculpture. So we'll see how it grows.
So we've got the first coat on this one. Um, it's quite a rough coat. Um, just sort of getting it ready for doing a final coat next time. So it'll start to come together next time. We'll work out what we're doing with the finish and then Sally's going to put some additions to it and then we'll paint it up. And then oh, all the way around the other side, let's have a look, we've got the rabbit's chair. So the rabbit's chair has its new base. It's not going to get much more than that. All we'll do when all this is set, you see bits are dropping off it. So when all this is set, we will add some more bits where gravity doesn't help very much and um, finish it off and then give it a paint. So now everything's got to dry and set. So we'll come back to these maybe later in the week, maybe in future weeks, we'll see how they go on. But we need to get some more sand and cement as well for doing some more. And uh, yeah, let's see how they go on. So while we've been working on the rabbit's chair and the other chair, Sally's starting to get control of the garden again. Quite a lot of the soil here to move over from that far end and get this levelled off a bit between the plants. There's quite a few suckers which I don't know if to leave this year or not. I think we'll see how we get on. And there's quite a few currant bushes here. But underneath here there are some strawberries so it's clearing this area and deciding what we're leaving and what we're not. So I'm just pruning any dead off and topping it all. So I've finished pruning all the soft fruits. Um, this raspberries, black currants, red currants, white currants, a few strawberries here, gooseberries. It's quite a dense patch, but um, I think it's a reasonable use of the space here. So these are the cuttings of the raspberries and so what I've done, I actually put them in a plant pot and actually pushed it all down so water can come in there but I can still get to them and drain them so I'm hoping to come and plant these I don't know what time I'll have them when but until then I'm hoping they'll start rooting in that So that's Sally hard at work in the garden um, We've got one more chair we were going to have a look at, so let's have a look, see what we can do with that one. So, because we've run out of concrete, we've started to kind of play with this chair. So, we're going to have a bit of an experiment now and see, see what happens, really. We've got some ideas of what could happen to it, but it may work, it may not. We don't mind. Let's have a look what goes on. time for a quick catch up with Ed. Um, last time he had a sticking caliper. Let's see how he's getting on with the bike. So I'm on another attempt to try and get this caliper working. This is a aftermarket piston I bought because I obviously can't get an original. 
but if you can see just there the seals pushed past the piston pushed out with the piston and it's just pouring um, brake fluid fluid out so not sure why but I'm gonna take it apart and try again and I'm also gonna check the diameter against the original just in case but don't know we'll find out uh oh that's not going very well so hopefully he'll um, he'll manage to sort out the problem he's got now let's go back to the garden where it's getting a little bit dark and Sally and Ed have been just clearing up the final remnants from last year. That's all the carrots left over from last year. Let's start looking at what's left in the garden that needs looking at. We've got the apple tree, which is planted from a seed and if I can find photos I'll show you of it from when it was very very young it's only about three years old so far but we've got some chives coming through which is quite nice we also have a little bit of chives down there if you can see so this needs uprooting this year and planting somewhere else because we don't want it on the floor but it's there and whilst we're here we'll have a look in our potato patch and see if there's anything left here a lot of hairy bitter cress growing, which is very nice on a sandwich. Well, let's have a look what's around, shall we? Oh, there's some. So here, I've got some potatoes left. They're a little bit green. Not the best. But let's see if we've got anything good. Not a bad one. Let's see what potatoes have survived the year. Yeah, they're quite green, these ones. That's a nice one. Hi, it's getting a bit dark out here. Yeah. Hello. It's going a bit dark, so we're going to go in. We've got some potatoes for the chickens, and because they're too green, we can't eat them. But we do. We have managed to get some carrots. We don't know what we're doing with them yet. Yeah. And a surprise leek, which is from two years ago now, isn't it? It's had some flavour to something, I think. Yeah. We've also uncovered the rhubarb, so it can start growing this year, which is looking a bit sad at the moment, but it's not had a chance to start yet. So, Lydia and Rini are stealing hay, haylage that I've hidden under a bag in a barrow. As you can see, the goats like to get everywhere, really. Um, so where, where we don't want them to go, we have to really try to um, create new ways of stopping them getting into areas. We're quite happy for them to be about. They quite like all the elderberry that grows around in the carousel and they get everywhere, really. Um, so that was quite a busy week, really. We've managed to do the chairs. This, the rabbit's chair is now really comfortable. Um, ready for a bit of paint um, we'll get some more cement and do the other one in the next few weeks we'll 
finish off the chair that we've started. So you'll see how that one evolves. We've got plans for that chair, so you'll see how that one works. The garden, um, we'll keep you updated with the garden. Uh, Sally sets it, puts new, new plants into it, and we get the greenhouse back under control. And so yeah, it was quite a busy week. So join us next week at the rabbit's chair, where we'll have more adventures with the animals and a bit more artwork and well, we'll see where the seasons take us.